Welcome to Financial Investing Radio, where you'll learn the secrets for consistent, high probability returns in the financial markets for additional income to change your life. Grant creates consistent, high probability trading systems for the financial markets and has applied them over the past five years. He's only recently started sharing these tried and true market secrets. As a gift to listeners, Grant is offering his high probability indicators for free. Go to financialinvestingradio.com and download yours today. Now, here's your host and trading veteran, Grant Larson. Hey, everybody, this is Grant. So uh, thanks for joining. Uh, today, I'm talking about patterns. Um, when I was a kid, man, my mom used to take me into fabric stores. And, oh, that was tough on me. She was always looking for sewing patterns. So I had to find something that looked like a tool. So I'd go hang out in the thimble section because it was kind of like hardware, maybe. But uh, anyway, you can only look at thimbles for so long. So it was, it was tough on me. Anyway, I'm going to focus on patterns uh, of the market engine indicator all right now now we use this indicator on the trading chart so for futures we put it on something like a one minute e-mini chart for stocks we put it on something like a range chart and that that range chart is typically configured based on the typical range of a specific stock so for example i think i i think i showed walmart yesterday and i had that configured at a 267 tick range and and the formula for that's pretty straightforward right you just do some simple atr math right there's nothing sort of new about that what's important is you use a subset of that so that you can then see the kind of movement within its typical larger range so i picked 267 all right now what, what i want to have you focus on is um, when you train your eyes, you can see patterns, right, that obviously increase our probabilities for trading. And a lot of us as investors or, or traders, we're looking for those patterns. So these patterns that I'm going to discuss, they apply on stock charts as well as futures charts. So for our purposes, I'm going to use the E-mini futures chart. And I've prepared a chart for you. It's uh, out on financialinvestingradio.com. So go look there on that page. There's a section called Podcasts, Charts, and Videos. Um, look for FIR number 15. This is, uh, this is podcast number 15. You'll see some links on the chart that I'm using to identify patterns. And I, I also posted a video there describing these patterns. So if you want to actually see my, uh, my actual uh, you know, chart itself, I talk through it so you don't have to totally visualize it uh, in your head. Anyway, so while going through this podcast, definitely you can use the uh, use the chart that I put up there. So you should see both both links, link to the chart and the link to the video. All right, so on the E mini chart, um, there's the market engine indicator, and it's green. Okay, and and the reason why is because uh, this particular instrument, the E mini, is part of the overall NICE. Uh, engine, right? It's part of the NYSE uh, exchange, NYSE exchange. All right. Now, one of the key things to look for is the horizontal orange lines on that indicator. Okay. So you can see there's one at the top, there's one at the bottom. All right. Now, uh, what, what we do with that is those represent extreme levels of market effort uh, attempting to push price. Okay. Now, whether or not price responds is a whole other topic, right? That's that's why we have the market effectiveness chart it tells us how effective it is at being at pushing that price. That's that's a different matter, but definitely related. But I'm not focusing on that here. Here I'm focusing on the actual um, green in this case market engine indicator as it's pushing price. Now there's three patterns that I have applied and used over time that are on this particular um, engine, okay? The, so here they are. The three patterns are the two-step, the halfback, and the divergence. Now, what I do is I use trend lines on the actual market engine indicator to help me know entry, entry moments, entry points. And so when you look at the, at the picture on financialinvestingradio.com, 
When you look at the picture of that chart, you'll see that I have some blue trend lines right on the indicator itself. Not on price, but right on the indicator itself. All right now, so they help us to see the patterns, and they also help us to know when it is we actually enter the trade, all right? So let me talk through these patterns just briefly. So the two-step. Now, this pattern is when the market engine indicator touches the same orange line a couple times, right? And it's typically within three to 10 bars or candlesticks. What you're gonna do is you're gonna draw the trend line on the market engine indicator to identify the high probability entry location. So as the indicator breaks that trend line, that's the location for your opportunity for, for your trade. So I've identified, what is it, one, two, three, I've identified three, three locations on that chart where there's a two-step. And I, I tried to number them sort of sequentially. So if you look at two-step two with the number two, and then also look for two-step with the number three, it's at the bottom, and two-step with the number five. Those are the three two-steps that I saw on this particular chart. Now, you know, some of those, um, some of those trades go for pretty good distance, right? You're gonna, you're gonna do pretty well. Others, however, you know, you're only gonna get a point or so. Uh, it really depends on the market. Uh, in all the cases, though, they're actually um, profitable, which is actually good news, right? So uh, a whole separate conversation is you gotta figure out What's your profit-taking strategy? And I'll do another podcast on that at some point. All right. Now, the second pattern that I want to talk about is called the halfback. Now, many times the market will do multiple pushes in the same direction, okay? So it'll push hard, then sort of come back and take a breath and push hard again. The halfback pattern, in my experience, helps to identify when this happens. Not, not all the times, but lots of times when it's doing push one, push two, push three, the halfback pattern is the one that helps me to see that. So let's say that the market engine has pushed price down. All right, so price has gone down. The market engine indicator has gone down and it's touched the bottom orange line on the indicator. Now, the market engine pushes price back up. And as it does this, the market engine indicator comes up and gets, let's say, about halfway. There's a, there's a zero line on that indicator. So it gets just you know around or just past the zero line. When that happens, you start looking for the structure of that indicator line. You draw a trend line on the market engine indicator itself. Not on price, I'm talking about draw it on the market engine indicator. And you're gonna define, or excuse me, you're gonna identify the high probability entry location as as the indicator breaks down back in this in this example going back down uh across that trend line and heading back towards the bottom that's the location that's the opportunity for the trade i i think let's see one two three four five six identified six there's quite a few of these on this particular day um so in fact the very first one is a half back that one's to the upside. So half back one is a trade to the upside. You'll see that I drew the, uh, the uh, trend line on the market engine indicator as it came halfway, a little more than halfway back and then started to push and pop back up. Took the trade, followed that one up. Uh, what's the next one? Half back, uh, half back number four here. Okay, so half back number four actually is a combination with a divergence as well, but same thing. You can see on half back number four right there, it started um, with that, uh, it started at the bottom orange line, price pushed up, chopped around the zero line. You can see I drew that uh, trend line and when it broke and came back down across there, there's the trade there. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of range on that particular trade. Anyway, take a look at the other ones. Halfback 6, 8, 9, 11, 12. There's quite a few of them there. All right, so that's the halfback. Um, so the third one that I want to talk about here is pattern divergence. So we're all familiar with the divergences, which the basic premise is price continues to go in one direction and your indicator goes the other. And there's certainly other indicators that address this. Um, the thing about the market engine indicator is it's, a, it's not lagging sort of data, right? It's not based on any sort of moving averages or anything like that. It's it's real uh, market uh, engine and internal information that that we're synthesi 
I can't say that word, synthesizing, <laughs> that we're aggregating. All right, let me talk about divergence. It occurs um, when, you know, price is going one direction, the market engine indicator is moving in the opposite. And as you'd expect, you're going to draw the trend line on the indicator to identify that high probability uh, entry location. And as the indicator breaks the trend line, there's the location to look to take the trade. And there is what? One, two, three. I see four. Four of those on this particular chart. Divergence number three, divergence uh, four, divergence seven, and divergence 10. Moving to the right as you look across those. And, you know, one of the, um, well, you know, let's see. Let me point one out. Let's see. What did I say? Divergence four. Let's look at that one. <clears throat> so here you can see. And in fact, it's, uh, it's combined with... Um, it's combined with the um, uh, with the halfback as well, so that's sort of a nice uh, double confirmation. But anyway, you can see that the indicator comes up, starts to pull off. Meanwhile, price is going up, and you can see the red vertical line that I put to tell you what's price doing right at right at that particular moment. Anyway, cool stuff. Uh, all right, so take a look at the chart that I'm referring to again. It's on financialinvestingradio.com. Look for number 15. And again, um, I also put a video there uh, describing these patterns where you can watch me actually walk through the chart as well. That might help you uh, uh, consume this as well. So, you know, I guess to report back to show you my own progression recently, I went into a fabric store with my wife, right? I was able to walk through the whole store without hanging out in the thimble section. So, hey, I just got to report to you guys. That's progress for me. All right. Thanks for joining. Until next time, trade safe. Thank you for joining Grant on Financial Investing Radio. Remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Don't forget to download your free high probability indicators before your next trade. Visit financialinvestingradio.com now. <laughs>